The results of the Chamber of Commerce's latest business performance survey are in. According to the lobby, the findings are not surprising. With the general uptick in economic activity, with the reopening of the economy following COVID-19 lockdowns. The survey indicates that business confidence appears to be on the rise, with 66% of respondents forecasting increased turnover over the next 12 months, while 71% of respondents forecast a rise in business profitability over the same period. Only 29% of businesses surveyed, according to the Chamber, report worsened cash flow relative to the previous quarter from January to March 2022. But, the Chamber says, this optimism is tempered by 78% of respondents who anticipate an increase in the price of their goods and services over the next quarter with 59% of respondents reporting an increase in prices over the previous quarter. Businesses worry that the threat of inflation could derail the expansion in consumption and economic activity that generates job creation. The Chamber reports that 61% of respondents are facing pressure to raise prices from the purchase price of goods, 59% from fuel, 59% from utilities, and 41% from labor costs. The lobby warns firms have little option but to pass on these increased costs to consumers. According to a press statement on the report issued on Thursday, quote, The global inflationary pressures are affecting businesses across the board and are forcing them to pass on these price increases to customers as fast as they come. Managing this phenomenon will continue to be ticklish. Policy interventions, once again, must try and serve many masters unemployment, social support, economic growth, and inflation. Post-COVID-19 economic recovery will continue to pose serious challenges for both government and businesses for some time. End quote. The Chamber concedes that there are limited policy tools as the government tries to balance various priorities without unraveling what it terms, quote, the critical pistons of society and the economy. End quote. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.